Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I'm really excited because we're going to start a brand new painting together. This time we're going to do a seascape, and just like always, I'll start the painting doing the just a little bit of work to get us started, then I'll wait for your input before I continue. Remember to vote with me each week so that you can really help me develop this painting. For now, let's get started. We'll start off today with a two-inch brush and a beautiful soft light peach color. All right, now I put a piece of masking tape on the bottom here, just like we always do for seascapes, and I don't know if you guys want mountains back here or what, so I'm just making sure I give you a straight horizon so no matter what, we'll be okay. All right, so now I'm gonna drop this color in, and I'm deciding here to do a pretty soft sky. I didn't wanna just go blue because then, I don't know, for seascapes I like, I mean, blue is great. I do those a lot, but sometimes it's nice to do a warmer, just a warmer seascape, and this is nothing more than just a little color here at the horizon, and it won't really affect how well, how the voting goes, you know, whatever composition and style of painting that you guys want to do, it'll work well with it. That's what I mean. It, it pretty much goes with everything, so no worries. Now, if I were to make this really, really vibrant yellow and, you know, like a massive sunset like we do sometimes, then it would be a little trickier to vote each week because, you know, certain pieces wouldn't necessarily work with that and the colors are all would have to stick with that very closely. This way we're very free. So that's why I'm doing this kind of almost like a pastel color sky today. I want you guys to have the, the say on how this goes. There. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna finish up here. We'll move on to another color in just a second. Next, I'll load up our two inch brush with a nice purple color and I'll start up here at the top. And this is kind of like a purpley gray. I threw a little brown in it to gray it down. And that's just great because we don't want anything, again, too vibrant. There. I did put a little bit of clear gel and white on the top, so that's why it's blending so nicely. Now, let me kind of re-explain these interactive videos, just in case you're kind of new to this. These interactive videos, I'll try to get them out, well, as close to every week as I can. And each week, I want you guys to go to the website and I'll have the, the links to the vote page everywhere in the video on the screen and down below in the description. And, you guys can go and vote for how you want the painting to continue. There'll be several options and each option is good. I won't give you an option that doesn't work. And you just tell me which one you'd prefer seeing. And then I simply take the one that the most people want. Very simple. And you don't have to have an account of any kind to vote. It's totally free and easy and simple. And I think you'll enjoy doing it. And it gives you a chance to help me create a painting. We get to do it together and that's really fun. And even if you're watching this after the voting has stopped, don't worry about it. Just watch the whole, the whole thing in order and you'll really learn how to develop a painting. In fact, if you've missed the other, the other series of, of these videos, I've got them in playlists and you can go check those out on the channel as well. They're really fun. All right, now let's go ahead and work on some clouds. Next with a filbert brush, I'm gonna drop in some beautiful clouds. Now I'm not gonna do these at random. I'm just gonna sort of work here carefully to create smaller clouds at the bottom, larger clouds at the top. Of course, if you're needing any help with clouds, we have a DVD that'll, that'll help you quite a bit. It shows you all sorts of clouds in a lot more detail than I can ever show you here on these short videos. And this sort of hopefully gets you excited to paint. It's a lot of fun, you should try it. And I'm sure you probably already are. It's, and so you know, it's really cool and a lot of fun. I always enjoy when I'm done with a painting, you kind of look back and you just have that, you know, you're a little tired after the whole, after, you know, putting a lot of time into it, kind of tired, and you just you sit back and you have that nice, satisfied feeling, and sure, it's not perfect, but you know what? We learned a lot, and it's okay to be satisfied with your paintings, even though there's, you know, things in them that you wish you would have done a little different. That's fine. I like being satisfied. It's more fun. So just kind of go with it and have fun, knowing that, you know, you're learning and getting better. So am I. It's not gonna be perfect. And just know the next one will be better and enjoy the one that you've just done. There. All right, we gotta work on some bigger clouds here. I don't want a bunch of these little tiny clouds. I wanna do, let's just for fun, let's make up that the light's coming across like this. If we have to, if we have to change it later, we can. Hopefully we won't have to, but we can if we have to. There. I'm gonna just roll in a huge thunderhead sort of cloud. Just cause. I think it'd be cool. Connect it up a bit. There, see that? Just roll it right in, let it blend with these colors. Again, it's very soft. I'm gonna just be 
sitting here scrubbing for a few more minutes and we'll jump right back and do something else. <laughs> now I'm simply gonna blend out our little sky area. And I'm just using large sweeping strokes to, to feather it out like this. Pretty simple and easy. There we go. Just do this for a couple minutes, doesn't take very long. And do not kill all of the beautiful variations in there. That'd be kind of sad, you'd have to go back and put them in again. But I guess you can do that. I'm just not interested in painting, painting it again. <laughs> Once is enough for today. Now I'm gonna load up our little filbert brush here with a very beautiful, soft, light yellow color. I'm gonna drop on here and there, just a bit of highlight. Remember the light's gonna come across from this. It is fairly low at the horizon, so keep that in mind. There, see it doesn't take too, too much of this. Just a bit here and there. And you really very quickly start getting the feel of light. Good. You know, as it comes up, sure, we can sort of sneak it up here a little bit. Why not? There. Now, a lot of this won't even require much blending, if any. There. A lot of fun. Just very, use very quick brush strokes and enjoy, enjoy painting. I love it. Not too much though, because again, I don't want to cause any problems. I want to make it very easy for you guys to, to have a lot of options and a lot of cool things that we can do with this painting. And then if we want to brighten up the sky, you know, three weeks from now, we certainly can do that. There, I'll make sure the sky looks, looks pretty at the end. For now, I'm, I'm purposely leaving it very soft and pastel. Now it's time to look at the three sketches that we have, then you get to vote for how you want this painting to continue. First off here, I have a, well, a very simple rocky cliff, and I think we'll just, we won't bring it down too far. It'll be kind of in the background. It leaves a lot of room for the wave and everything else. Or we could do a beautiful tropical cove, maybe with boulders or little island pieces on either side. That could be very interesting. Or we could do the Pacific coast, something with evergreen trees, and maybe we'll even see a bit of the sand on the right-hand side there. And some rocks, of course, in the foreground. All right, well, that's all we're going to do to our little seascape painting today. Go ahead and take this time right now to go to the website and vote for how you want this painting to continue. I really appreciate your input and all your support. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe for future painting videos and also future series of our painting together. So I hope you had a great time. Thanks for watching.